Hi, this is Satima Fowler, CEO of Capstone Information Technologies. Capstone is a specialist in helping small and medium businesses with their computer support needs. We are also a Microsoft Office 365 um, special cloud partner as well. Now today I want to talk about um, some of the common questions I get asked about Office 365. There's five questions that I have in mind that I want to answer for you. First is people kind of know what Office 365 is, but they want it explained. So Office 365, simply put, is the office that we all use and, and love, like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, um, but it's, it's a lot more than that. It's a collaboration tool that Microsoft has put in place that allows users to focus on getting their real work done rather than um, messing around with trying to find files and working together. So it also has, for the same subscription price, it also gives you Microsoft products online. So when you're on the go, you can have quick access to edit documents, um, but it also has email outlook with exchange backend which gives you calendar sharing uh, notes tasks a lot of the business class email features it also gives you video conferencing tools it also gives you uh, storage document storage you get one terabyte of storage space in the cloud so there's a lot of other built-in features um, in addition to the Microsoft Office products so let me get to the next um, question that I hear a lot um, is the cloud secure? Is putting data in, in the cloud going to some jeopardize my business in any way? Well, for that question, let me just explain it this way. If you have ever used credit cards or if you've used ATM cards, you're already transacting with a server that's in the cloud with some of your most critical information, which is your own personal finances. So the cloud is safe. Um, it's, it's, you know, the, the server that email uh, is housed in at the Microsoft data centers is built with so much protection. I mean, you have to, it's, it's built kind of like in a nuclear grade building and, and people who have access to that building is really limited. Um, so the chances of that email getting um, stolen um, while it's traveling over the internet is much greater than where it is actually resting, um, if that makes sense. So if it's resting in your server closet on a server, um, the chances of somebody getting into that server closet in your office is probably much greater than somebody getting into these redundant, highly secure data centers that Microsoft has built. And Microsoft is also putting your data in multiple data centers to protect you further and, and guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime. So if something happens to data center A, your data is still safe in a couple of other data centers around the world, okay? The third thing I hear about is, um, you know, our company is set in the ways that we work and our employees really don't like change or they don't want to change the way they do, but they do their work. And that's perfectly fine. So most of the people that we introduced Office 365 to, um, they don't really do anything different. For the first first step we take as a baby step is usually email. We migrate them, migrate them from their current email system to Microsoft 365 and it's really not that different. So, and they get so many extra things, but if they don't wanna use the extra things right away, that's fine too. They can keep working the way they're used to and gradually we'll introduce them to the benefits of Link, the benefits of OneDrive, the benefits of SharePoint. So those are some things we will start introducing after the fact people are already using Exchange um, or, or Outlook for their email, okay? The next thing I want to talk about is money. Most people, you know, face it, even with all the features that comes with Office 365, they want to know, is it going to save their organization money? Absolutely. Um, Microsoft has raised their prices on uh, traditional Office licensing, Microsoft Office licensing, and because they want you to go to the subscription-based model, which it starts as low as $5 per user per month, you get all the features that I just talked about. You get the Office Online, you get email, you get link, 
which is like a video conferencing. Um, you get shared whiteboarding, you get one terabyte of storage space in the cloud, you get SharePoint, and there's so many other things that you get for $5 per month, starting at $5 per month per user. And nonprofits actually, uh, qualified nonprofits get it actually for free. And there is, if the more tools you want built in, there are other subscription plans as well, but it's absolutely the cheapest way to go. And Microsoft has changed it. So every user that gets a, uh, gets a subscription can install it on five different devices where traditional office licensing you every license you put it on one device only but now you can put it on your home computer your work computer on your tablet on your phone um, so you can put it onto five different devices per user subscription okay and then the last question I want to answer is that during this migration process is my business going to have downtime are we not going to have access to this email well there's a couple of things to take care of um, first you want to be working with a company that has done and has a lot of experience migrating companies to office 365 because um, somebody like capstone we've done hundreds of these migration and we know what to look for and we have created training materials so we can train and tell people what is going to be coming and what to expect over the weekend and monday morning when they come in all all their email is migrated over but things may look a little different so we're gonna have an IT person there uh, you know to answer any questions to help users but you really want to work with an experienced company who has done these migrations that can help you migrate over the weekend so that it's a seamless process and there is no downtime so if you want to dig into this further I encourage you to do two things one of two things on this page you will see two uh, links, two buttons. One is if you don't really know about Office 365 and you want to learn further, go ahead and click on the button for Office 365 webinar. Um, they're amazing and we do live demos. The second one is if you already know what Office 365 is and, and you want to get uh, to the next step, we'll be happy to meet with you. So sign up for a Office 365 readiness assessment. Either way, um, we'll get you on your way. So for more information, please go to www.capstoneitinc.com and I look forward to meeting you.